let you know, she had me, I walked in and then she had me go back out and then come back in. I did, because I didn't catch it the first time. Because she didn't catch it the first time. Hi, cute stuff. Hello. are really like good stomach muscles um come sit with me you guys want some <laughs> anyways i'm just gonna be eating while she's talking so don't mind me yeah anyways so they did find her eventually but she has head down and she's really so she is starting to drop and that's making me that's making me really happy so she's dropped like i would say like a good inch she's at 50 percent for the lining and not a one Good job, honey. <laughs> yeah, so they checked my cervix today. I am 50% thinned or effaced or whatever it's called. Mm -hmm. And then, uh-oh. And then um, I'm already dilated to a one. So that's cool. And then she's already dropped pretty far down to my pelvis. Um, so that's getting really exciting. So, I mean, that, I mean, it could stay like that till like, our due date, which is in, like, two weeks. Three weeks, three weeks, um, or it really could mean that I go from like one centimeter to like ten in like two point three seconds. So <laughs> it really just depends on my body. Um, but I, from my last video, my like period aches and pains in my back and everywhere else have been getting a lot stronger, as well as my surges, my practice surges, <laughs> I guess you could say, are getting, they're like crazy strong. And I was kind of nervous. They were pretty consistent yesterday. Like they, I was having one like every 10 minutes, around every 10 minutes and about like two minutes apart for like an hour. So I was like, oh my gosh, am I going into labor? And then after the hour, they went inconsistent again. So anyways, but that's kind of cool. We're, we are still thinking she could come next week. Just a hunch, it's a feeling, but who knows? Um, she will come when she's ready. I'm ready. I want her out. I want to hold her. <laughs> anyway, so they checked all that. Uh, blood pressure is all fine for me and her. I'm measuring 30. Crap. What was it? 30. I think she said 37. 37 this way? Yeah. I think it was 37. Anyways, so I'm measuring 37 centimeters for my belly. Um, she, it was funny, at my last doctor's appointment last week, her back was on my left side, and then she rolled, and now her back is on my right side. So she loves this right side. She's a wiggle worm. <laughs> she is a wiggle worm. She's moving and grooving in there. I feel her all the time. She's moving a lot. So as far as, like, symptoms, I did kind of explain some of them a little bit. Um, my chest has been hurting a lot more. Um, not really hurting, it's more just achy. Like... If, you're, if your chest were achy in like your first trimester, it gets achy again, just because it's getting ready. Um, I've had a lot of just numb, um, what's it called, like numb aches, achy pain in my lower back, as well as like where my cervix is. It's like period cramps. Like my... My period cramps were always really just achy, like my muscles just ached in my legs, and so that's what's happening again. And she's like grilling my cervix like crazy. <laughs> that's have that has been a little painful. 
Um, she, I, it feels so weird. She just like randomly, like I can just feel her head just really press, press down on my cervix for like just a second. And it's like kind of like this pinchy feeling. And then it kind of like releases. So that's just her making her way down, um, down to come into this world, which I hope is really soon. I want to hold her. <laughs> Anyways, but we have our room ready. We have our bags packed. Here, I'll show you. See if you can see them right there. There's all of our, and no, that big thing of blankets are not going. That's just where I have our blankets. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, we have her diaper bag packed, our backpack. So really whenever, you know, it happens, it happens. I'm getting really excited though. And I, I, I really do feel like it's gonna be sooner than later. Like, I know people are always like, well, don't expect to have her come early. Like with my first, it was a week after my due date. It's like, okay, cool, like, I get that. And that's totally fine. I'm like, I'm not saying like anything, but I'm just saying as far as like this whole pregnancy, like we've always mm -hmm. felt like she's going to come early and just how my body is already responding. Ew, what is that? Oh, it's a leaf. <laughs> just how my body's already responding. Like I just have a feeling that she she's could be early. Um, and so and Tucker even thinks she's gonna be early too. And he's not even pregnant with her. And he still thinks it. Huh, honey. Oh, your potatoes. So good. And I'm sad that there's no more. I know. I want more. <laughs> I guess I can make some more. Anyways, so that's my 37 week update. Um, next week, 38. I might. Who knows? Between now and we might be a threesome. Yep, yeah, we might be a threesome. So who knows? That'd be kind of cool. We yeah, like our next video. We're like, look at our baby. <laughs> Anyways, oh, and I had to, like, since I'm doing a tub birth, they have, like, if you're doing a tub birth in the hospital, I don't know how it is, like, other places, but it, for Utah, you have to sign consent forms because it's technically, like, in testing phase. Anyways, so we had to go over those and sign the consent forms and things like that, so when we go, they know I'm doing that. Oh, and I also did find out, <clears throat> I don't know if I mentioned this in my last video, I don't think I did. Anyways, I did find out that I do have the group strep B, which I I didn't realize, but a midwife said is actually pretty common in a lot of women. If you don't know what it is, it's basically just like a bacteria that colonizes in your down below. So like it's kind of gross and it's there. And it does nothing for me. Like it doesn't affect me or cause me any problem. But if like the baby gets it, especially for newborns, it can like kill them. Um, and so if you, they, they do test you around now. They just swab down there and then test it. And then if you do have it, you just have to be on antibiotics during labor. So, and that was the, when I got my test results back, I like freaked out. Cause I was like, oh no, I wanted to do tub. And now this is going to make it so I can't do tub. And I emailed my midwife and she's like, no, you can still do tub. We'll just, they're just going to put the IV in my hand and just <clears throat> have it there um, during labor. So that um, I'm just getting the antibiotics so that she doesn't, so she doesn't get that bacteria on her at all, which I'm really not too concerned. I, I just like over panicked when I saw that I had it. <laughs> I just like was instant like, oh my gosh, but it's totally fine. So that's, that's the new thing. I do have that. So I just have to have the IV when we go in. Um, but I got my birth plan all written up. We finished our, um, Hypno Bubs, our birthing course, which I just love. Like it is such a good course and I will always use it like I when they had to check check my cervix today like I was able to use what I learned as far as like the breathing techniques while she was checking my cervix and didn't even feel a thing so I'm like bonus this is awesome <laughs> so yeah so it's really exciting we're getting closer every single day and like I said who knows maybe next video we'll have a little word <gasps> and her room is all done um what else Trailers. Oh, I did get heartburn today. That was weird. I had, I had, the, uh, yeah, I've never, okay, so I'm not a heartburn mom, like, during pregnancies. I don't get heartburn, at least this one I didn't. And today, <laughs> because you've been pregnant before, so. yeah, <laughs> that's why I said at least this one I didn't, because <sighs> that was, you know, first pregnancy right here. <laughs> Anyways, so, um, but yeah, I haven't had heartburn, like, this whole pregnancy, 
until today I I don't I had the mashed potatoes I made and they gave me heartburn. I was like, ow, is this what heartburn feels like? This hurts because I've I've had the leg cramps, okay? So it's not like I haven't had nothing. I've had the like Charlie horses and my calves. Um, because my legs, and I know when they're coming because my legs start to get really, really tight and my muscles start to get really tight. And then every, like, when I would stretch in the morning, I could start to feel it. So I'd hurry and flex my foot to straighten the muscle, like, pull it back out. Anyways, but I did get a really intense trailer horse the other day. But again, I used my breathing techniques from my hypno course and it totally helped. And so, um, like, the first time I got, um, a trailer horse in my calf, I, like, Fought it really bad, like I tensed up. Oh, okay, I tensed up, and then my muscle was sore for like ever. But now that I'm like breathing through them, they don't they're not sore afterwards. So, anyways, I'm kind of just rambling now. But that's it. That's my 37 week update. I'm really excited. We're really excited, and I hope you are liking to watch our videos. And make sure you subscribe and follow us because we're that cool. And yeah, okay, bye guys. <laughs>